Good day everyone, it's David here, uh, out of shop. Uh, actually today I'm wearing a blackout shirt and that's specifically the topic I'm talking about is it's relating to blackout technologies and the actual um, thinking of antennas more so than just um, RF shop and the shop itself. So right now let's think. The question that I have is a splitter or combining antennas. Is it useful? Is it a good idea or is it not so good idea? Um, I think I'm going to start with the answer. If you want to split your signal because you feel like my antenna has, I have, have to get two or I have to get four, don't. Don't worry about it. It's really, it's better to just stick to the game plan, literally. Um, I'd say the golden rule for me would be one antenna, one receiver, or one antenna per receiver. Now let me explain. If you look at actual splitter, now you get all these um, little splitter cables or you can buy on low cost places like Alibaba or so you can have something that has an input and two outputs. Why people want this is the scenario where, say you have a single antenna, now I'm using just my own little um, self-made antenna that we use for blackout technologies as an example. So I have one antenna with one port, but I have a modem like the um, Teltonica RUT240 that has two antenna ports because this is a MIMO modem. The, the temptation is a lot and you get the same with the Nighthawk, you get the same to Huawei B818s, they have two antenna ports. The temptation if you have only a single antenna is I have to split. I have to get something like these um, low cost splitter cables that can go in and split the signal into the two ports so that both ports can get something from the antenna. Um, we used to have those cables on our website as well, and we used to have them in stock as well, and um, we just drew a line and said, no, we know it's not a good idea. We're not going to sell this. We don't want to present bad ideas to customers. If somebody wants to split it, of course, they can get it elsewhere. I understand, but we just want to be clear that it's not a good idea to split a signal, specifically not good idea to split it through a device that is not a good splitter. See, now I get into another point again. The splitter itself needs to be properly designed. Now they have their place, they get used a lot in, in things and systems where you actually have to take something in and route it to two different places. But it's a lot like um, a flowing river or anything that flows. So you have flowing energy, flowing power coming through the antenna. It is what it is, there's this much power in the um, incoming coaxial cable. If you split it to two places, you literally split what's available into two. Every port will only get 50% or half of what is available coming out of the um, out of the antenna. So now what you're effectively doing is an antenna, a MIMO radio, wants two completely independent signals. First thing is you're violating the MIMO. So you're telling your modem, no, 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 I'm going to give you the same signal twice. You're not giving the modem two independent signals. That's going to cause um, an, uh, a negative impact. So you don't want to split into two because the modem wants two separate things. The other thing is your port will suddenly get half of what it could have gotten. So if you say I want to reach as far as possible and I'm going to split my signal into two, you're telling your modem I have this awesome antenna, you are an awesome modem, but I'm going to give you half of what's available. So the reach is just going to be so much less because you are halving the power. What you would do alternatively is basically to use one port, go to the external antenna. On the second port, just leave it as is. Just put whatever you have on there. Because that way, your second port won't get as good a signal as from this one as, um, as that port gets. But it still gets something. And that something is going to be significantly different than this one. And your MIMO modem, your MIMO receiver, will like that more than having one twice, so half the power, and, and it's basically going duplicating half of what's available out there. Now, the other thing that, um, that's starting to come up now is with 5G. The 5G modems, the um, 5G proper antennas would be 4x4, four four, so they might have four antenna ports coming out of it. Um, and the higher end modems that you currently have, now this is 2021, so don't know where things are gonna be in a year or two's time, but at the moment, the high-end modems that would cost you a uh, thousand or two or three thousand dollars, they have four antenna ports. So yes, one antenna, one receiver. So you have one, four ports coming into the four um, 5G modems, 5G receiver uh, antenna ports. 
However, if you were to get one of the um, consumer-based um, 5G modems, let's say the Nighthawk M5, or there's also the MZTE modem that's, uh, I don't think, sold as a um, Telstra Wi-Fi modem, only has two ports, take two ports, put two ports into the modem. So now the temptation is starting to be two, needs to be four. So what people are saying is, well, can I basically take four antenna? Because this is actually, but I got the flip side now. We have somebody saying, I want to buy four by four antenna. So I want something with four antennas on this side. So one, two, three, and four, and I'll combine this into one and put it into one port. You're gonna do the same again. You're basically combining stuff that's not necessary to, to combine. This thing can only see the one signal, so if you combine two antennas, it gets muddy and there's, there's all sorts of other artifacts that might start to play a role. Keep it simple. One antenna, or one cable, or one receiver. I think that's, that's really all I can say about that. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to um, make any notes or comments under this, um, this line, uh, under this video. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, um, go to our website, artofshop.com.au um, or at Black Art Technologies, go to blackarttechnologies.com. It's, um, it's not an AU website, so it's just .com. Um, that's more for custom design and um, antenna design and, and consulting on antenna act, um, activities. Um, thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. thinking of antennas more so than just um, RF shop and the shop itself so um, maybe just restart this whole video again nah just keep at it <laughs>